Yo YouTubers, this is your fellow YouTuber EMD SD 14R coming to you live from PA. This video is going to be on some of my past projects uh, that I did. So I hope you all enjoy and I'll go down the line as we can see here. This is actually my first kit bashing project. It's actually a caboose for, for the steel mill operation. Got all custom details on it. Got the GSC uh, high speed trucks, custom ladder, beacon, air horns, the whole works. That was my first kit bashing project. And these are my two coat cars right here. Just took an Atherin flat car and some sheet styrene and some thin strips of bar styrene and made the car. This is actually the better of the two, as you can see. Those are the doors right there. There's one side. And then there's the other. And then this is the not so good one. I'm still fixing it. And then this is another, this is my uh, customized road railer that I made. Added that door, that door, and I added this door and this door. This door actually came from a Walther's Horizon Fleet uh, car. The two center doors came from a Canadian uh, National uh, Accurail boxcar and I actually removed one of the center beams out of the doors and just filled it in like that. And then the other door on uh, this side is styrene. And this is my first weathering project. It's a PRR X29 boxcar. Added all the rust as you can see right there and the grime. Uh, that end plate is not done, but this one is. And I got the rust on the roof. And these are my two SD24s. These are Atlas models. I put the uh, first generation diesel Detail West plows on both of them. This one has a Leslie 3 chime. This one has a Leslie 5 chime. This one has plows on both ends. And this one only has a plow on one end so this is the end that doesn't have it I'm still working on these two I gotta get railings for them and they both are the same engine number as you can see so one of them is going to be uh, the number is going to be changed on it and this is my uh, username locomotive which is the EMD SD14R I customized it from an SD from an Atherin SD9 chopped the nose on it I, I kept the nose headlights though on the unit, added a uh, high hood diesel plow from Detail West, Leslie 5 chime air horn, I filed off and removed the cast on exhaust stacks, filled it with styrene, and put my own uh, brass uh, exhaust stacks in there, they're, they're cylinders. Um, I added the Dash 2 uh, flexi-coil trucks that are found on the SD45. I actually just swapped the trucks off of an older Atherin SD45, but these are the later ones that had the plastic side frames. So, um, as you can see, they're painted SP gray, and they did come off of the Southern Pacific unit. The unit has um, KD coupler boxes and screws. And this is my BN F45. I got this at a train show. This actually is one of the oldest locomotives in my collection. Um, from under here, you can't really see it, but uh, this one was built in 1973. I added the Leslie 5 chime air horn on it. Um, this, you know, it's a good puller. It's a lot. It's an older model, but uh, I hopefully I will be able to get it uh, up to today's standards with DCC, as with these here. None of these have DCC yet or sound. And this is my Southern GP59 number 4610. I custom painted the railings, the trucks, the fuel tank, added the uh, five chime air horn, which is similar to the ones used on Amtrak, the rotary beacon, um, and you know, added the, the little details here and there. I still got to add MU hoses and cables to it. Uh, both ends have knuckle couplers. Um, it mimics a Jeep 60 in that the dynamic uh, uh, brake blisters are the exact same on a Jeep 60, but it's uh, the predecessor model, the, the model that came before the Jeep 60s. That's why it's called a Jeep 59. And that's a side view right there. Great puller. Bought her brand new. 
Um, these are my custom painted uh, chassis system units right here. These are both Atlas models too. I bought these at a train show. These, this is actually the correct, this is actually the correct B and O blue and yellow, and all the details are correct. And this is actually the correct uh, blue, orange, and yellow on the chassis on the chassis scheme for the units. And these are both custom painted. I forget the guy's name. Uh, I got them on. I got them for a good price for them being custom painted, and they're great pullers. And hopefully, you'll be able to see them on the layout when they're when the layout is finished because they're great engines just amazing locomotives right there and here's a, up, a top view as you can see now I'll show you a top view on all of them that's all the details right there some of them are a little bit dusty I'll go slower over this one because this is my username loco show you what I did to it and then these are the two SD24s and then PRX29 again and I basically just took, so I bought some markers, some, uh, I forget what their names are, but they, they're they the ones that are that come in rust and rail tie brown and mud and grime. I think you all know what I'm talking about. I had to figure out the name. And then here's my rail, rail road railer boxcar. I'm going to get this painted into my railroad's paint schemes. And then my two coat cars. I'm hopefully going to be able to build another one like this one because this one's awesome. Because the way the doors are, it actually covers the trucks. You can't really see them, but it looks uh, looks similar to Kennecott Copper's war cars with the side doors. That's that's co that's probably where I got the idea from right there. As you can see, there's the inside right there. And this is not the the best one, but you know, it looks good. That's, this one only has one door on one side, so I need to add some more details to it. I painted them gray because, you know, that that's the color of the coat cards that are going to be on my rear. They're going to be uh, SP uh, gray, and then this is the caboose that's going to be used for as a spacer car or a transfer caboose when the switch crews go out and take the hot metal cars from the storage tracks or uh, take the coil cars out. And it's got SP style headlights. I cut the note, cut the windows out right there. This is actually, if you look at the side view, I actually got the cupola uh, off of a Jordan spreader kit that I had, and I just added it to a uh, IHC uh, uh, frame. It used to be a rail and tie car, and I added the brass air tanks, and that's the weight right there. And I just added the step end plate right there and a few other details, the air horns and then that's a radio line the radio antenna is supposed to go over here on this end but it's a good model and there's the maintenance ladder and that's uh... that's a, it's a great model, there's the brake wheel right there it's got the high speed GSC uh... trucks right there so I added that, these actually are the best trucks for this model because the other ones I had on there uh... didn't really balance it out so it was it kept jumping the track so once I put these trucks on with these wheel sets it just performed flawlessly so subscribe uh, quote these are going to be the locals you're going to see on my layout along with a few others and this is part one of uh, some of my custom models so you guys be cool and I'll see you soon peace